Hello and welcome to my channel if you are brand new or welcome back if you've been here before. For those who don't know me very well, my name is Melissa. I used to work in a Bath & Body Works for about six years as a part-time manager. One of my favorite topics to make videos about is Bath & Body Works. I also do content about any body care, hygiene, self-care, and I also do a side of decluttering and cleaning motivation. If any of these topics interest you, don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below and let's start with the video. For today's video, we are going to be doing something I I've wanted to do for a long time actually and that is battle of the body scrubs so we are going to pick apart four different body scrub brands and we are going to compare and contrast and kind of put them through a game show test so to speak and find which body scrub is officially the best one so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm actually going to show you the scorecards and kind of show you the process of how we're going to be judging these body scrubs each scrub is going to be judged based on four different categories price point packaging, fragrance, and feel. There are a total of 17 points to be won, and the body scrub with the most points will win. For the price category, there are two points to earn depending on which scrub has the lowest price per ounce. For the packaging category, there will be up to six points available depending on cuteness or prettiness, whether the bottle is ergonomic or space-saving, and how informative the marketing is. Some people may prefer a low fragrance or fragrance-free body scrub, but for me, the scent is a huge part of the experience on how much I enjoy it. So I will be awarding up to five points for this category. Last, there will be up to four points available for the texture category, where we will be looking at abrasiveness, gentleness, how well it exfoliates, how well it nourishes the skin without leaving it feeling stripped, both during and after exfoliating. So now we know what the critique cards are all composed of, let's meet the players. So the first contestant on our list is this Vanilla Mint Pot of Gold Body Prescriptions Body Scrub. The second contestant is by Onyx Bathhouse, and it is Crackin' Me Up Marshmallow Fluff. The third contestant is Strawberry by Tree Hut. And the fourth and final contestant is Bath & Body Works Foaming Sugar Scrub in the Fragrance Sweet Pea. The reason I chose the Body Prescriptions and the Onyx Bathhouse is because these are the only ones I own of that, so that was pretty easy. But I have heard a lot of good things about these, and I see people using them in their TikToks and Instagram Reels and all that stuff. So I've seen good things, so I want to try them. So I have one of each of those. So the reason I chose the Strawberry Sugar Scrub from Tree Hut is because it's the only full-size Tree Hut scrub that I have that is already opened and used a little bit. And then the reason I chose the Foaming Sugar Scrub by Bath & Body Works in the Fragrance Sweet Pea is because I find that the Foaming Sugar Scrub is the most similar of formulas as opposed to the other formulas that I'm comparing them against. Bath & Body Works does have many different formulas of scrub. They have an oil sugar scrub, they have glowing scrubs, they have sand and sea salt scrubs, pumice, so on and so forth. So I thought that this one in my collection I had was the most consistent with the texture and the ingredients. So that's why I'm using this one to compare and contrast with the others. So the first category we are going over is price point. So I already did the math and I already have looked up the sizes. So let's go through this together. So the first one we're going to be looking at is body prescriptions. So this is a bottle that has 21.16 ounces. I purchased this for $5.99 at Marshalls. That seems to be the price across the board, but I did find an Amazon shop in which they were $12.99. So there's kind of two potential prices that this could have, but more or less, this is usually $5.99. So this scrub is 28 cents per ounce. The next one up is Sweet Pea. So this retails for $16.50 at Bath & Body Works, not including any sales, promos, that's just full price. This bottle is only eight ounces, as opposed to the 21 and some ounces of the body prescription, so considerably less considerably more expensive. So this one costs $2.06 for every ounce. Next up we have Tree Hut. This is an 18 ounce jar and this retails regularly for about $7.99. At Ulta they are a little more expensive, but Target, Walmart, everywhere else pretty much is $7.99 across the board. This one for every ounce is 44 cents. And then last but not least, we have the Onyx Bath House. This also is 21.16 ounces and this cost me $5.99 at Marshalls. And so this one is also 28 cents per ounce. So in order for the price points, we have 
Bath & Body Works ranking in last place at $2.06. I get no points. In second place, we have Tree Hut, which costs 44 cents per ounce, so that gains one point. And then these two body scrubs tied, and it's funny because this one looks like it'd have a lot more, but it is the same ounceage inside. So these two scrubs tied for first place being 28 cents per ounce. The best for your buck. All right, it's time for the next category, which is packaging. Let's start looking at body prescriptions first. So there are two points to be earned here for how cute the bottle is. Now, I think this is pretty cute. Now it is holidays uh, themed. We've got a cute little shamrock on the lid. I like that it's kind of this matte and it's nice and colorful. I'm gonna give this two points because I think this is adorable. We're also gonna talk about space saving. Now this is the biggest bottle <laughs> scrub I own actually. Um, most of mine tend to be more sleek, so I am not going to to give this one a point. Um, if I were to have a whole collection of these, I would see this taking up a lot of room. Um, it is nice that they have flat tops that they are able to stack, but um, I'm also not giving it a point because it is so big, but the scrub actually comes, I'll even show you, it doesn't even fill up the whole jar, so there's no reason for it to be this big. Look inside, about an inch and a half of just dead space. It's literally starts here where the top of the rainbow is. So for that, I don't think it earns a point in space savability. I do find that jars tend to be easier to use than squeeze tubes. So I think it's going to gain a point for um, being easy to use because you could just scoop it right out, easy peasy. The last category is how informative the marketing is. So if we look on the back, it does have the fragrance. It says that it's a body scrub and it's got the brand name. It does have instructions on how to use the body scrub. So that's good. It also has an ingredients list, but look at this. This is what I don't like about it. On the ingredients list, it just lists them. Now, the average consumer, I guess, isn't gonna know what all of those ingredients are. Um, and for that reason, I am going to say that I am not too big of a fan of this um, marketing on how informative it is, because it's really not. It also doesn't tell you what the benefits are, what the fragrance notes are. It just tells you basic fragrance name, what the brand is, and it does have an ingredients list, which is good, but it's it could do better. So in the category of packaging, I am giving body prescriptions three points out of six. Next up, we have the Onyx Bathhouse Body Scrub again. Cuteness factor, I'm giving this one two points. Color is great, I think that makes it more fun. Cute, seasonally relevant pictures, pictures both on the lid and the front. I think this packaging is adorable, so I give it two points. So the next subcategory is space saving. It does fill up all the way to the top, so it's not wasting any space. The jar is adequate for what it needs to be to fill the scrub inside, if that makes sense. It is flat top, so it does have stackability. It is a little bit on the chubby side, but if it were any narrower, it would have to be taller. So it just kind of um, based on preference there, but it is stackable and there's no way that they could make this any smaller without putting less scrub in. So I will give it a point for space savability. I think this is valid. Also easy to use. It's not a squeeze tube. I prefer tubs because they're really easy to open in the shower and scoop out. So it gains a point there, just like body prescriptions did. And the last one is how informative is the packaging? Once again, we've got fragrance name, kind of something cute to say on the front and the brand name is along the lid. I like that it's along the lid. That's very cute. So on the back again, we just have the fragrance name, we have instructions on how to use it, that's pretty good. And then we do have an ingredients list again, that's good. But once again, my thing about the ingredients list is they're not very descriptive. I like it when in parentheses they tell you exactly what it is. There are also no fragrance notes, nor are there any um, descriptions or um, ideas of what this scrub does for your skin or what it's good for, kind of like what problems it tackles. So for that reason, I am not giving this one a point towards informative. Kind of harsh, I know, but I gotta stay consistent because that's what I did for body prescriptions. Onyx Bathhouse is in the lead so far with four points and body descriptions close behind with three out of six. Next is our third contestant, the Tree Hut Strawberry Scrub. It is very cute. I like it a lot. Um, I do love a good color and that one has a very nice hue to the scrub itself. I find that compared to the other two that we just looked at, it is not as flashy or colorful or exciting for me personally. So I like it, but I don't 
love, love, love it like I did the other ones. The I, I tend to like more colorful and fun. So for that reason, I'm going to give it one point instead of two for appearance. Now, when it comes to space saving, I am going to give it a point as well because I like that it's flat and short. So that stacking, you know, I'd be able to stack quite a few of these. And the way that they fill the scrub does go all the way to the top. I mean, this is what it looks like, and I've even used this for a couple of weeks. So they do fill it to the top. There's no wasted space. Once again, flat top. So I do find it's good for a space saving. For the same reasons I gave the other two, two, it does gain a point for the same reason as the other two. You can scoop it out and it's pretty easy to use. So it gets a point there. Last category of the packaging is how informative the packaging is. So we've got fragrance name both on the lid and on the side. I do like that. Already on the lid, which is really interesting, it already tells you what the purpose of this scrub is for. It says for hydrated, youthful looking skin, made with shea butter, strawberry, and beta hydroxy acid. So I like that. It tells you a little more about the ingredients, what they do for your skin. So already I'm, I'm liking this better than the other two. So on the back in really, really fine print, they do have some instructions on how to use it. Well, it kind of had the notes on the lid. It, you know, it talked about the strawberry. It's pretty straightforward. So what I'm really looking at right now is the fact that the ingredients list has parentheses highlighting the most important ingredients, recognizable ingredients that the average consumer will recognize. It'll have like the weird scientific name for it, but then in parentheses, it'll say sweet almond oil. And then it's got avocado oil, it's got willow, it's got orange oil, it's got strawberry, it's got shea butter, it's got safflower seed oil, and it parentheses, so it really highlights, you know, common ingredients that are known for nourishing your skin, exfoliating your skin. Um, you know exactly that sugar is the main exfoliant used in this. So for that reason, I like this uh, informativeness, informativeness, so it's going to gain two points there. All right, the fourth and final contestant is our Bath & Body Works foaming sugar scrub in the scent Sweet Pea. I always love Bath & Body Works packaging. I think they do an amazing job um, making them look enticing. I often buy based on packaging rather than fragrance, which is probably not a good thing. This one is kind of a more simplistic packaging that they've done actually in terms of bottles. So um, maybe not the best example of some of Bath & Body Works work, but if you know about Bath & Body Works, you'll know that they have really gorgeous packaging. So I am gonna give them two points for that. The colors are always amazing pictures. This one's complicated because it's the only one that does not have a flat top, so you cannot stack them but maybe this is because I'm a little bit biased and I know how to get these to fit. If you wedge them in like this, like a container every other way, you can get a lot of these to fit. And also they do have bend to them. So even when they're full, they're, they're bendable. They're tall, but really narrow. So I do find that you can actually stack a lot of these and keep a place tidy. So I'm gonna give a, a point towards space saving. Now this is why I made this category is I'm gonna give this one no points because these are a pain in the butt to squeeze out, especially the lower you get. I find myself having to really work and sometimes these get stuck and you have to really work at them, sometimes perform a little surgery on them. It is a pain in the butt to use. Last but not least, how informative is the packaging? Um, Bath & Body Works, I think, does an amazing job um, using marketing and packaging to their advantage. So first of all, on the front, obviously we have fragrance name, brand, and what the product is. It's a foaming sugar scrub. So already you're getting some clues as to what's inside. But then on the back, not just the fragrance name, but all of the notes, top, bottom, and middle notes. So you know exactly what this fragrance is composed of. And I love that. So right there, you also get a bullet list of important ingredients and what they do for your skin. So this one specifically says, luxurious formula transforms into a rich, indulgent lather to soothe and smooth skin. Sugar crystals, it's once again talking about the actual exfoliant, naturally exfoliate while vitamin E and sunflower oil protect and nourish the skin. I feel like I learn about ingredients just from reading this. Um, and I really like that about it. At the very bottom, it has an ingredients list with my favorite, the parentheses pointing out the recognizable ingredients. I give this one two points towards being informative. That concludes the packaging. That means that this one gets five out of six points, making it a tie with Tree Hut. Here are what the scores are looking like for each scrub now that we are at the halfway point. We have two more categories to go over, which are the fragrance and texture categories. So let's move to the bathroom and start our sink demos. Okay, so starting with the Onyx bathhouse, we are gonna do the sniff test first. This one is supposed to smell like marshmallow fluff. 
Okay, so that's not very strong. It's not bad. I just have to really search to find any fragrance at all in it. Um, if we were doing it solely based on strength, I'd give it like maybe a one. But what I do smell is almost like a sweetened coconut shreds. So it almost has kind of that fragrance. So sniffing it on cold, not bad, but um, I really wish that it were stronger. Maybe the fragrance will perform better once we actually use it to scrub. So for the field test, I actually have, well, I have two arms here, but I'm gonna use the inner part of my arm, forearm here, because it's already pretty soft there. And um, from here to here, it feels pretty consistently the same. This one's going to be the Onyx bathhouse right here. Just gonna get it wet a little bit first. I'm sure you want a texture shot. Feels pretty sticky. Kind of like that feel actually. All right. So the smell does come out a little bit more when you add water and kind of get it going. Ooh, that does feel good though. As for the scent lingering on my skin, almost non-existent slightly coconutty if anything but yeah it's almost non-existent i think i'm gonna give it a two because the scent that i do smell is nice but it's just not very strong at all so when scrubbing i did like the way that it foamed up as you saw there it kind of turned like that white soapy color when you add the water to it and kind of work it in i really found that this one was quite scritty so it was kind of an abrasive scrub which for me i tend to like more abrasive something more for sensitive skin this might not be the best choice but for someone who likes a really intense body scrub i would definitely highly recommend that that felt really nice and as for how my skin feels afterwards it doesn't feel very moisturized it mainly just feels smooth and exfoliated. It did feel nourishing while I was scrubbing though, so I am gonna give it that. So far, Onyx Bathhouse has a score of two out of five for fragrance and three out of four for the feeling, mainly because it felt nourishing and exfoliating while I was using it, but it only made my skin feel smooth. I really feel like I could use some lotion after using that one though. All right, on my upper part of my forearm, we are going to use the Bath & Body Works Sweet Pea Scrub. Smelling it in the bottle, it is so strong. Five out of five. I mean, Bath & Body Works really knows how to do their fragrance. Interesting. Ooh, it kind of hurts a little bit. This one's even more abrasive than the other one. I find that the sugar crystals are a little bit more sharp, while the other ones, like, they're really coarse. See how big the granules are? This one is more abrasive than the Onyx bathhouse. The soapy part of the adhesive that kind of holds the exfoliant together isn't binding those sugar granules as much as the Onyx bathhouse. So in some ways, I kind of like the way that the Onyx bathhouse felt over the sweet pea, over the Bath & Body Works. Oh, but the fragrance is so good. Look at how red my arm is. It feels good, but but it's interesting because I usually use the Bath & Body Works ones more like on my legs or somewhere a little stronger where it can handle it. So if you want something really intensive like for the heels of your feet or your knees or something that can really handle that, Bath & Body Works is good for really getting that skin off. But man, that is not good for like a frequent use body scrub. It feels really smooth. It's a little more moisturized than the Onyx Bath House, but mm, not enough really to make it worth giving it an extra point. For feel, I'm actually going to give it a two out of four because that was actually kind of not as pleasant as the other one. Now this sugar scrub, might I add, is actually an older formula than some of the newer sugar scrubs. So if you ever use like the sugar scrubs, like the glowing sugar scrubs, I do know that the granules on the sugar crystals are much more fine and way less abrasive than that one. All right, next we are going to look at our Body Prescriptions body scrub. So for the fragrance, I think this almost kind of smells bad. I'm not going to lie. It's not that great. Once you've had a, a sniff of the Bath & Body Works, it's really hard to go back. So this is supposed to smell like vanilla mint. To me, it smells like chalky Altoids, like cinnamon Altoids. So we're going to do the body prescriptions on closer to my wrist on this side. This one's a little more sandy. I was reading this um, while I was setting up. This is actually not a sugar scrub. I found out that this is a salt scrub, so that's why it kind of has more of that sandy texture. 
Okay, so this one, even just as I'm rinsing, this one is so soapy. Like, it's almost got, like, you can even kind of see, like, this goo. Like, this one almost feels more like it has body oil in it. So once you add the water, it really improves the texture. Wow, yeah, that is really soapy. Feels good, though. It's super moisturizing. So far, of the ones I've tried so far, this is the most moisture I've gotten from any of them. You can even see the soap left over. It like bubbled up more than the other scrubs did. Smells like absolutely nothing on my skin after rinsing and drying, but wow, that feels really good. So you can see it was a lot more gentle than the Bath & Body Works one. This one, I feel like I moisturized. So, so far this one feels the best of the three. I'm not gonna lie, it, but it smells the worst. So that's too bad. This is harsh, but Body Prescriptions gets a zero out of five on the fragrance for me. Maybe some of the other fragrances they make are better than this one in particular. So if you do use body prescriptions, you should let me know what your favorite fragrance is down below. And maybe I'll need to try some of the other ones because it could be an unfair um, judgment just based on the vanilla mint. Not going to lie, that was the best feeling one. I'm going to give it a full score. Four out of four points for the feeling because I feel not only moisturized and exfoliated while scrubbing, but I feel like I already put on lotion on that one because it was so moisturizing. So that was really nourishing too. Last but not least, we've got Strawberry Tree Hut. The most amazing smell ever, besides the sweet pea, honestly. I mean, I'm going to give that one a full score of smelling it on dry. We'll see how it smells on my skin after I've rinsed and dried, but wow, that smells so good. It's very fragrant, but um, not only is the fragrance that it's giving off smell uh, strong, but it also smells good, which is important. Ooh, that's fun to play with. So both the Onyx Bathhouse and the body prescriptions were very stiff and kind of compact like a bar soap almost. But this one's like loosey-goosey. And the sugar crystals in it are definitely the finest of the four, which probably means it's gonna be pretty gentle too. So of the four, this is the most fine. So I would probably recommend this for if you need something very gentle. Yeah, I really like that. Also the fall away, I feel like it doesn't fall off your skin. Like you can actually really work it into your skin for a long time if you need it to, because it doesn't like fall off. It like sticks to your skin so that you can really work it. <sighs> that smells so good even after rinsing it off. So just like the Bath & Body Works one, the Tree Hut scrub has amazing fragrance. So full points on the fragrance department for Tree Hut. So the Tree Hut didn't feel as moisturizing while I was using it, but um, after I've rinsed and dried, like it feels pretty good um, in the moisture department. Like if I had skipped lotioning, I wouldn't have felt really like bad about it. Unlike the Onyx Bathhouse, I feel like, and the Bath & Body Works both, I felt like I could use some lotion afterwards. So I'm gonna give it kind of a score in the middle higher end. I'm going to give it a three out of four. Okay, so let's go back to my room and we'll do some talking. All right, so the scores have been tallied and I know the answers. So in fourth place is body prescriptions. Wah, wah, wah. So I like the scrub a lot. In fact, if we had done it based on feel alone, this would have won, um, which is kind of too bad. So if you are mainly looking for a body scrub on the way it feels, definitely try body prescriptions. I thought it was very nourishing and moisturizing and it did not strip my skin. The scrub granules clung nicely to my skin so I could actually work it in. The reasons that this got last place is because of its lost opportunity in the fragrance. Not only did it not really have um, accurate fragrance, but it actually kind of smelled bad. It was a little bit of an off-putting fragrance to it. The other reason is because the packaging was subpar, but where it was lacking in the packaging was not the cuteness level rather than formative ingredients and things like that that I find for me are important to have on a scrub. I like to know what it's going to do for my skin. The downside of the packaging is this is the amount of wasted space. The body scrub when I got it fresh had this much wasted space and so therefore that was kind of a turn off for me that it was such a big bottle with so little product inside. We know that it doesn't need to be that way for quality packaging because here we have this scrub that's filled all the way to the top and is just as good quality if not maybe even better. For those two reasons this one got fourth place. Still love using it though. And in third place we have Onyx Bathhouse. Now this one was in third place only by one point so it was a close call. So the price point, oh, and the price point on body prescriptions is really well, as well as this one. They're actually the same price point. So that one um, was a bonus for this. 
Also, the packaging is cute. It was slightly more informative and um, well done. I really like the quality of the scrub. It felt really nice on my skin. The fragrance was a little bit on the weak side, which is where it got dinged some points. And I also did not like how it didn't tell you um, about the ingredients as well. It does have the ingredients on here, but it could have been a little more informative. But all in all, this is a great option for you. Feels good, works well. Um, I do find I need a little lotion after using it, but not a problem for me. All right, in third place, we have Bath & Body Works. So this one did really well because for me, fragrance is important. So I gave it a very high score because of how well it smelled in the bottle and after rinsing off my skin, I still had that long lasting fragrance lingering. Some things that prevented this from being in first place is the price point. So the price is actually quite awful on this uh, compared to some of those other body scrubs. So this runs at $16.50 while some of the other ones were only, you know, five, six dollars a piece. For that reason, this one got um, some points taken away as well as the feel. So if the way that the body scrub feels for you is the most important factor, this probably is not going to be your first place winner or second place. I would actually recommend some of the other body scrubs over this one because this one was really quite abrasive and it did not leave my skin feeling very um, cared for and nourished. Now if I had used this on a part of my body in which I needed some dry skin removed very intensely, this might have changed it. But for an overall just general body and if I were going to use this you know, three times or more a week, that would be too abrasive for me. So that's why it got the score it did in the field. But all in all, it got 12 points out of 17. So that's pretty good. And that leaves us with the process of elimination. You guessed it, Tree Hut One number one body scrub. Now the reason this won first place is because it was the most well-rounded. Since I was judging each scrub based on many different categories as opposed to just one or two categories, this one did the best overall in all of the categories, which is why this one won first place. For the price point, it wasn't the cheapest, but you know, for the quality of scrub you're getting, it was considerably cheaper than some of the other scrubs that actually didn't feel as good on your skin. So this is definitely worth every cent that you spend for it. While the packaging might not be 10 out of 10 in adorableness factor, it is still very aesthetically pleasing. The shape of the jar is nice, it's easy to use, and the ingredients and the way that the scrub is marketed is extremely informative, and I find that important for a body scrub. And then the fragrance, I mean, the fragrance really just knocked it out of the park. Along with the Bath & Body Works scrub, this one's fragrance is just, I mean, it doesn't get any better. So this one, even though it wasn't as moisturizing as like the body prescriptions, it was definitely gentle. It definitely smoothed my skin and got that um, dead skin layer off and it left my skin feeling fragranced, smooth, and um, it wasn't too drying. So that's the reasons that this one got first place. It's the best overall scrub. Kind of like in Mario Party when they get bonus stars. I do have to give a bonus star in the fragrance department for the Bath & Body Works. I do have to give a bonus star for this one and how nourishing my skin felt afterwards. Does this one get a bonus star? Honestly, the budget friendliness of this. If you are going on a budget shopping, I would definitely recommend this and um, packaging is super fun too. So I don't know. There's not a scrub I didn't like. Thank you so much for watching my body scrub wars. Let me know down in the comments below if you think that I was a fair judge or if I was too generous or maybe even too harsh on some of the scrubs. You can also let me know which body scrub is your favorite down in the comments below because I'm curious to see what your thoughts are. Thanks again for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.